G'day and welcome to this week's client question. This is quite a common one and one I've probably covered off before but a client uh, often comes in and asks whether they should consider uh, consolidating their superannuation plans. And there's always been that belief and I think it comes from the superannuation funds themselves that consolidating is a very good thing to do, you don't want to pay extra fees. Um, and that makes sense given the conflicted nature of superannuation funds, the more money they have the more, um, the more fees they can charge and the more profitable they become. And that's even the case in the industry funds who are non-for-profit, they still want to manage as much money as they can. It makes them more efficient and they can pass on fee savings if they choose to. So the thing I think about there, you know, is it absolutely necessary to consolidate your superannuation plans? Uh, my argument is absolutely not. Um, let's say you've got two industry funds, for example, you've got um, Host Plus over here and you've got Australian Super here. You're both in similar style funds, it might be a balance fund, and you might be paying 0.6 over here and 0.6 here. You consolidate the two, you're still paying 0.6. The saving that you might have uh, would be around the annual member fee, which will be no more than fifty to seventy dollars per year. Now, if you are to consolidate to save that fifty to seventy dollars, um, the one that you roll over uh, into you know, Host Plus goes to Australian Super. Whatever insurance you had on one of those plans will be lost completely, and that might be insurance that you actually need. So, if you're someone that hasn't sought financial advice in the the, in the past, you haven't um, received any life insurance advice to cover your debt and dependence. You know your multiple life insurance policies might be extremely valuable for your family um, if you're no longer about to look after them or totally and permanently disabled. So just blindly rolling over these funds is not something I would recommend. Again, I'd recommend you seek uh, personal financial advice before doing anything like that. So hope hope this answers the question. Seek uh, personal financial advice. Understand um, what benefits you've got within superannuation uh, within each plan before you roll it over. Thanks for listening. Uh, we'll catch you next week. See ya.